Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will be solving three very interesting problems based on differentiator using operational amplifier. Before you see this video, I request you to go through my last video based on differentiator using amplifier in which I have explained all the basic fundamentals related differentiator using operational amplifier. Here I will be solving three questions. Before I start with solution, I want you to try all those questions first. So let me show you those questions one by one. You just freeze the video in between. This is first question. Freeze the video in between. This is second question. Freeze the video in between. And this is third question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I'm going to solve first question over here. See in first question, what is given? We need to determine the useful range of frequency for practical differentiator. So here we have practical differentiator. And with this practical differentiator, we need to determine useful range of frequency. If you have seen my last video in which I have explained you frequency response of practical differentiator. See, this was practical differentiator for which I have explained you this frequency response. So by blue color, you can observe frequency response is there with us and useful range of frequency that is happening from FA to F1 by 10 useful range of frequency that is happening from FA to F1 by 10 where FA that one can calculate as per 1 by 2 pi CRF and F1 that is lower of 1 by 2 pi RC and 1 by 2 pi RFCF. So we need to find FA and F1 first based on that we can have accurate range of frequencies for differentiation right. So here let us determine value of FA first. So what is FA? FA is 1 divided by 2 pi RF into C. Here, see from circuit we can have all the values. So here you see what is RF? RF is 5 kilo ohm. So substitute the value 5 into 10 to the power 3. C is 10 nanofaraday. So 10 into 10 to the power minus 9. You just solve this in calculator. Let me check what is my answer over here for FA. My answer is 3.18 kilohertz for this given calculation. Now, see, I have told you F1, F1 is lower of this two. So I need to check for both of these values, right? So let us identify F1. So what can be F1? F1 can be 1 divided by 2 pi rc so here we need to substitute values of r and c so what is r c r is 100 and what is c 10 nano faraday so 100 and 10 nano means 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 you just solve this in calculator let me check what is my answer over here so my answer for this is 159.1 kilohertz as I have told you, we need to check for F1 and F2, lower will be F1. So here, as I have told you, F2 is how much? 1 divided by 2 pi RF CF. We need to substitute value of RF and CF over here. So what is RF? RF is 5 kilo ohm. So let me substitute RF 5 into 10 to the power 3 and CF is 100 picofaraday. 100 pico means 100 into 10 to the power minus 12. You just solve this in calculator. Let me check what is my answer. My answer is 318.3 kilohertz for this. And as I have told you, F1 is lower of this two. So here F1 is this, right? And we have FA that is this. So for accurate differentiation, for accurate differentiation, range is how much? For accurate differentiation, range is there from, from FA to here F1 divided by 10 for accurate differentiation, right? So here FA is 3.18 kilohertz. So accurate differentiation range is 3.18 kilohertz to you can have f1 by 10 so this divided by 10 that is 15.91 k 
kilohertz right so that will be a range for accurate differentiation right now i'm going to solve second problem if you observe second problem then circuit is same as first question but here question is different you see question is determine output signal with input signal is this so here we need to have output signal now if you observe input signal frequency so input signal that one should know first what is input signal you see if you compare that with vm sine 2 pi ft then here what is f f is 4000 means 4 kilohertz so here you can say f is equals to 4 kilohertz so but obviously with this frequency with this frequency we will be having accurate differentiation why the reason is i have derived range for accurate differentiation with same circuit right with same circuit i have derived range for accurate differentiation so 4 kilohertz that is there in between this so we can have accurate differentiation now if you have accurate differentiation then what is my output see if you have accurate differentiation then i have derived output equation even you see output will be minus c into rf into dv in by dt that is my output let me note it down first output will be v out is equals to minus of rf into c into dv in by dt let us differentiate this first so minus of rf into c into differentiation of dv in by dt so here this 2 is constant let me take 2 over here if you differentiate this sine 2 pi 4000 into t then 2 pi 4000 that will come out so 2 pi into 4000 that will come out first and differentiation of sine that will be cosine so into cos of 2 pi into 4000 t that is my output now we need to substitute all the values of rf and c so here what is the value of rf rf is 5 kilo ohm so minus y into 10 to the power 3 and what is c c is 10 nanofaraday so 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 into this that is 2 into 2 pi into 4000 right and this into cos of 2 pi 4000 t now we need to solve this in calculator this multiplication that we need to solve in calculator let me check what is my answer my answer is minus of 1.25 that is this multiplication into cos of 2 pi into 4000 t that will be my output for given input right and we are applying this equation why the reason is this frequency of input signal that is there in the range of accurate differentiation that's why right now let us have third interesting question now see third question is quite interesting here we need to determine output signal for practical differentiator if input signal is given by v in of t with frequency of 4 kilohertz so here there will be accurate differentiation why the reason is circuit is same and 4 kilohertz that is there in the range of accurate differentiation so we can use so we can use this equation right but here we need to have we need to have output we need to have output in form of waveform so in my first video based on differentiation i have explained you what is the output if you have input which is triangular you see i have explained that even if you have input signal if you have input signal that is triangular then output will be square wave right but here what will be the values that we need to identify so let me explain you how to identify values so here frequency is 4 kilohertz so for 4 kilohertz what is what is the time duration 1 divided by 4 that is this time duration right so 1 divided by 4 kilohertz if you solve that then that will be 250 microsecond this time t that is 250 microsecond right now if you observe here voltage so that is happening from minus 3 to plus 3 so if you want 
time over here for half cycle then that will be 125 microsecond now here i wanted to have this much portion of waveform so what i'll do is i'll be redrawing it over here you see this much slope is there with us and with this if you observe range of voltage then that range of voltage that is there from minus 3 to plus 3 means it is of 6 voltage and here duration of time for half cycle that is 125 microsecond now what is what is my input so this v in for this that is slope that is slope into time duration t right now what is the slope of this slope is y by x so that is 6 divided by 125 micro means 10 to the power minus 6 into t so 6 divided by 125 into 10 to the power minus 6 you just solve this in calculator let me check what is my answer so this v in that is 4 8 into 10 to the power 3 t and that i have solved it for this much portion only right now here what is my v out so as i have told you v out equation that is minus of rf into c into dv in by dt see this is applicable why the reason is this frequency this frequency that is there in accurate differentiation region right so here let us have this differentiation first so minus rf into c and if you differentiate this if you differentiate this then t differentiation with respect to t that is one and this is constant that will be taking over here right now minus of rf into c that i need to substitute so what is rf 5 kilo ohm and what is c 10 nanofaraday so 5 and 10 nanofaraday that i need to substitute over here into 4 8 into 10 to the power 3 so if you solve this let me check what is my answer so my answer over here for this that is minus 2.4 voltage right so minus 2.4 voltage why this minus comes the reason is with this given differentiator this negative sign that is inherently multiplied as per circuit explanation right so minus will be there and that is happening because of input is given to inverting terminal so if you observe see here triangular wave that will be having output that is square wave but here voltage will be minus 2.4 volt and as if slope is negative at the time value will be plus and same slope is there so here you will be having plus 2.4 voltage that is how waveform will appear at output side right so this is what i have explained for this positive slope with negative slope you will be getting plus 2.4 voltage as per this equation i hope you might have enjoyed this session and now you are having fair enough idea about how differentiator is functioning still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video